So, hello everyone, welcome to the Sam that is a study art, motivation and education and in this video we are going to discuss about cellulitis. So, um, cellulitis is uh, nothing, you can see cellulitis and tissue inflammation. So, it is an inflammation of subcutaneous tissues, okay, and it used to spread, okay. So, that's why its definition will become spreading subcutaneous inflammation caused by hemolytic streptococcus okay this point is very important in viva generally in viva uh, the external or internal used to ask this that uh, uh, what is the causative agent of cellulitis okay so it is very important that it is a spreading subcutaneous inflammation caused by hemolytic streptococcus okay then coming to its patholo pathogenesis so what will happen that pathogenesis will be that streptococci, okay, that hemolytic streptococci will release helluronidase and streptokinase. The, these two will ultimately cause inflammation and that will spread or exudate in subcutaneous or facial planes, okay, subcutaneous tissues and facial planes. So, this is the very basic and very easy pathogenesis of cellulitis coming to the source of infection. So, it can be due to injury, any scratch or grass due to snake bite and scorpion bite etc okay so it can be due to these things okay now coming to precipitating factor what are the precipitating factors of it it's diabetes if a patient is having diabetes then it can uh, may it may get develop this cellulitis and low resistance people so low resistance that means uh, people who have low immunity okay they will get cellulitis whenever they have any injury or uh, not uh, but most of the people who don't have a good immunity, they might get cellulitis, okay? Common sites, what are the common sites? So, mainly the common sites are loose connective tissues of lower limb, face and scrotum. Interstitial tissue or loose connective tissue as I said, okay? Clinical feature, coming to clinical feature. So, it is red in color. So, redness will be seen, itching, diffuse swelling and in skin, the skin will... Uh, shown shiny and stretched okay later yeah uh, yani ki, after some time if the cellulitis is not treated then patient may develop pain fever and toxemia and if the patient is untreated even after the later stage then the separation will form separation means formation of pus then slugging and gangrene so uh, cellulitis will ultimately can convert into gangrene okay this is an important point coming to its treatment so the treatment is bed rest with elevated legs it will reduce the edema okay then you can give a glycerin mgso4 dressing and if the patient is diabetic and having diabetes mellitus so insulin giving insulin to the patient is very important we can use antibiotics so in antibiotics uh, there are two things first is injection in uh, in injection there are again two things first is penicillin and ciprofloxacin so crystalline penicillin will will be given to the student uh, to the patient and 10 lakh unit intra um, intramuscular or iv 6 hourly for 5 to 7 days so basically we have to uh, give crystalline penicillin injection to the patient in every 6 hour for 5 to 7 days okay now coming to ciprofloxacin, then ciprofloxacin we have to give, give uh, 500 mg twice a day. Okay, if the case is of anti, if the case is of snake biting or scorpion, or scorpion biting, then we have to give anti snake venom. Okay, coming to its complications, so it can turn into abscess. Okay, and necrotizing fasciitis is also there, it which is caused by streptococcus pyogens. Then toxemia and septicemia can also occur. Uh, and it is streptococcal toxic shock syndrome can also occur and if the patient is diabetic then ultimately patient may get diabetic ketoacidosis because in diabetic patient the uh, the body will start making or producing keto acids okay now coming to the difference between cellulitis and abscess what is the difference between cellulitis and abscess so in cellulitis there is a big no okay so that is there is no edge that is no edge means there is no diffuse swelling okay 
नो लिमिट नो पर्स नो फ्लक्चुएशन ओके बट कमिंग टू एप्सिस द एज इज वेल सर्कमस्क्राइब एंड लिमिट इज ऑल्सो देयर पर्स इज ऑल्सो देयर एंड फ्लक्चुएशन इज ऑल्सो देयर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट सेल्यूलाइटिस इट इज वेरी वेरी इजी एंड इट मोस्टली कम एज अ शॉर्ट नोट इन यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम्स ऑफ जनरल सर्जरी एंड ओर मैक्सिलो फेशियल सर्जरी ऑल्सो एंड इट इज एन इन्फेक्शन सो आई होप यू गेट इट and thank you so much for watching if this video helps you in your academics then i will be really really grateful and yeah thank you so much for watching